हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट देन आवर चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू देर आई हैव स्टार्टेड अपलोडिंग द सीरीज फॉर वैक्टर कैलकुलस अगेन वी वर्क ऑन दिस थ्री ईयर्स अगो आई हैव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन दिस अगेन एंड दिस सीरीज इज कॉल टू पॉइंट वेर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट आई हैव टॉट अर्यर अगेन एंड देर आर ऑल्सो सम न्यू थिंग्स that i'm including so students you can watch my old videos on itab today i will discuss with you what vector differentiation is and we will discuss about how do we calculate the directional derivative and gradient here so let's start students so first of all i want to tell you about vector differentiation here we have a del operator which we denote as i del by del xj del by del y and k del by del z students so this del operator if we are given function f here which is a scalar and if we have a function f which is a vector if this del applies on f if it applies on this scalar so then the value that we get here is called as the gradient of f and if this del because del is also a vector and this is also a vector right so between two vectors either we can have a dot product or we can have a cross product when it is the dot product we call it the divergent of f and when it is the cross product we call it the curl of f we will discuss this further right i will tell you in my upcoming classes that how to calculate divergent how do we calculate curl here and we'll discuss related concepts further today we will talk about this the gradient of f students the concept we have here regarding the gradient of f is one is directional derivative and other concept is unit normal vector if we are given two surfaces here and we want to calculate the angle between them so we can calculate from this concept i will discuss this in next video today i will discuss with you that how to calculate gradient and we will discuss that how do we calculate this directional derivative in a particular direction so look students if this del operator that we have is applied to a scalar so we know this is f and when this f will be applied to this then what will happen to this scalar here it will move inside so this will be our value here so students if we calculate the gradient of the scalar that we have then what we will get what do we get we get a vector function right look here this was a scalar but here as soon as we applied when we applied del operator which means we calculated gradient's value so we get vector point function right now this vector point function we get many concepts from this i'll teach you how to calculate gradient first for example if you are given this function and you are asked to calculate the value of the gradient at 1 1 1 students we know that we have del so students we know that we have to calculate del f here and we are given f we will write this i del by del x j del by del y and k del by del z and students we are given f here as e to the power x square y square and z square so this will also come here and here and and here so students what will be its value that we will get this will be i del by del x of e to the power x square y square z square this will be j del by del y of this will be e to the power x square y square z square and students this will be k del by del z of e to the power x square y square and z square students this will be our value here right now we'll differentiate this with respect to x so we know that this will remain same e power will remain e power and x square will get 2x so this will be 2xi e to the power x square plus this will be y square plus z square will do this here in same way e power will remain e power and y square will be 2y so this will be 2yj e to the power x square plus y square plus z square similarly when we do in respect of z this will be 2zk e to the power x square y square and z square students we will get the gradient of f here we are now told to calculate gradient's value at 1 1 1 what will we do wherever there is x y z we will put one one and one there if we put one here then it's 2i and if we put one 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 here then it's e power 3 this will be 2j e to the power 3 and this will be 2k e to the power 3 students take 2 e to the power 3 as common so we'll get i plus j plus k so in this way at this point we can calculate the gradient of this function right we'll discuss the directional derivative now if we are given any function then on that function calculating a derivative at a particular point in a particular direction is known as a directional derivative right what do you have to do students whenever we are given any function f so first you need to calculate its gradient 
and whatever point is there, put that point in this, okay? Let's say we are given a point, put that point here, okay? For example, put the point x0, y0 and z0. So, we'll get gradient from here, now the direction in which we have to calculate. So, in that direction, let's say we're asked to calculate in a direction. Then calculate the dot product with its unit vector, right? So, what will we get from here, students? We will get directional derivative. Sometimes we are also asked to calculate the maximum directional derivative in exams. Whenever we talk about maximum directional derivative, so the derivative is in its own direction, right? For example, if you're asked what is maximum directional derivative of this, so what do we need to do here? We calculated its gradient. Now this in its own direction, this means that this will be our A vector, right? So calculating its unit vector and calculating dot product with it is known as the maximum directional derivative. What it means is whenever you are asked about maximum directional derivative, then what to do? We'll get the gradient of f particular point. Then what will we do with this gradient of f students? We'll calculate the unit vector. Is it clear? We'll get this, right? So it's value that we get. It's the maximum. Directional derivative, but as soon as we calculate its dot product, then the mod will get squared. Ultimately, one mod will cancel out from mod square. So whenever we're asked about the maximum directional derivative, then it becomes mod, grad f directly. For example, if we're asked about its maximum directional derivative, find maximum directional derivative of this if you need to calculate its answer. So students, the maximum directional derivative of this will be 2e to the power 3 will remain as it is and will calculate its mod. The square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this will be 2 root 3e to the power 3. What will we get from this? We will get its answer. We can calculate maximum directional derivative. In this way, let's discuss some examples. Students, we have an example here. Find the directional derivative of this in the direction of this vector at that point this point is given. We need to calculate at this point and in this direction. So, whenever the word direction comes up, it will be our a vector, clear? So, this i plus 2j plus 2k. What will we do now? We'll calculate its unit vector. So, how do we calculate the unit vector? This will be as it is under the root of its square, its square, its square. So, it will be 1 plus 4 plus 4. So, students, we will get its a cap i plus 2j plus 2k divided by 3. What will we do? We need to calculate its directional derivative. So, what do we have here, students? Gradient of this f into a cap, right? We need to calculate its value. So, we need to calculate its gradient's value first. Students, I have already explained how to calculate gradient's value. We'll have del f here. This is del and this is f. So, this f will be multiplied by this, by this and by this, right? And then we'll calculate its value, then whatever value we get. If we put 1, 2, 0 in this, then we'll get its gradient, but there's a trick for this, right? No major trick, it's same concept. What will we do if we have to calculate its gradient? If you need to calculate gradient's value, you can do in this way differentiation of this entire expression with respect to x into i. If we differentiate expression with respect to x, then we get y. Plus we'll get z into i. Now differentiation of whole expression with respect to y into j. So upon differentiation, this will be x plus z. What will we get? We will get x plus z into j, differentiate whole expression with respect to z into k. So with respect of z, it will be y plus x. Students, this will be y plus x into k. Now your given point. What point is it, students? Gradient of f. And what point is given? Students, 1, 2, 0. Wherever there's x put 1, wherever there's y put 2, wherever there's z put 0. So 2, 0, this will be 2i. This will be 2 students and I think 1, it will be j. This is y plus a. So this will be 3k. So take this value and put it here. So we'll have its value here. 2i plus j plus 2k, right? Sorry, students, it's 3k. And this is the unit vector here. So we already calculated its unit vector. What will it be? i plus 2j plus 2k divided by 3. We know students that i dot i is 1, so 2. j dot j 1, so 2. And k dot k 1, so it will be 2 into 3 is 6. Divided by 3. So this will give us 6 and 4, 10, 10 by 3 is the answer. And we also have this method which you can use to solve this question. So in this way, you can easily solve this. Look at next question. It's also asking us the same thing we have to calculate its directional derivative in this direction at this point. So what will we do with the given direction? We'll assume it A, we'll get 2i here and it will be minus 2k. What will we get if we calculate its unit vector? 2i minus j minus 2k upon. What will be in under root? 4 plus 1 plus 4 students, this will be 2i. So this will be, what will it be? It will be 2i minus j minus 2k upon 3. Now we need to calculate a directional derivative. Its formula that we have is, what is it? It's gradient of f into whatever we're given, its unit vector. What do we need to do with this? We need to calculate gradient, right? We have 
phi in the gradient here. This is phi. So we need to calculate its gradient, right? Let's calculate it now. So students, what is gradient of phi? I told you that it's del phi, right? Del phi. If phi is here, then derivative of this phi with respect to x into i, right? Then we'll do derivative of phi with respect to x. Here, this will be 2xyz plus 4z square into i. We'll take the derivative with respect to y into j. If derivative is with respect to y, this will be x square j into j. Then we'll take derivative with respect to z. So students, we will get x square y here plus 8xz into k. Clear? Now students, this point that's given, you have to put this point here. Because whatever point that we are given, we need to calculate the directional derivative at that point, right? We put this point here. Put 1 at x wherever there is y put minus 2 and minus 1 at z. Students, we will multiply these 3 so. This will be 2, this will be 4 and we will get another 4 into i and you should notice this x square and this. So, we will get minus. Then we will have minus j plus x square and students, we will get minus 2. And this 8, so students, this will be minus 8 into k. Thus, observe that we will get the value from here. 8i minus j minus. 10k, right? Now put this value here. What will be our directional derivative? Let's change the color first, right? Directional derivative is equal to this gradient of phi and its value is 8i minus j minus 10k dot, okay? What is the unit vector we have here? So in this place, what are we getting for a cap? 2i minus j minus 2k divided by 3. Calculate its dot product with this. So 8 times 2 is 16. Plus this will be j dot j as 1 and students. k dot k1 is 10 into 2. This will be plus, so 20 upon 3. Thus, here we will get 37 upon 3. So, here we got its answer. So, you can easily calculate and solve this question here. Look at next question. You are asked to find directional derivative of this function. At this point in the direction of line PQ where P is given as well as Q is given. So, students, we are given the point, but we are not given the direction. And for direction, you are asked in PQ direction, right? So, whenever it asks in the direction of PQ, you have to calculate the vectors in this direction, right? What will be the position vectors for this? We need to calculate position vector of PQ. So, position vector of Q minus position vector of P, right? Students, what will be the position vector of Q? Phi i plus 0j plus 4k minus position vector of P. This will be if we subtract these. What will we get here? We will get direction, right? We have to calculate in this direction at this point. That's all. This is direction. We'll calculate its unit vector. So, we get the unit vector here. We need to calculate gradient of this phi. Then we'll put this point. So, how will we calculate its gradient? Derivative with respect to x into i and with respect to y into j. The differentiation with respect to z multiplied by k. So, we will get. If we put this point, then we get gradient of phi and once we get it, we get direction. What will we do with both? We will calculate dot product. We will get answer, right? So, in this way, we can solve. This question, its answer will be 28 upon root 21. Moving on. Next question asks us to find the value of the constant ABC. So, that the directional derivative of this function phi at this point has the maximum magnitude. 64 in the direction parallel to the z-axis. What is maximum magnitude of the directional derivative in the direction of z-axis? We are getting 64 at this point. You don't have to do anything here. We need to calculate its gradient. We need to put this point and the direction will be j direction, right? Because it is the z-axis, right? So, the unit vector you will take in z-axis is meaning what will be our a vector? It will be 0i plus 0j plus k. What will be its unit vector? It will be k upon root 1 which is k, right? Pay attention on this. So, what will we do? Students' directional derivative that we are given, right? So, what will it be? It will be the gradient of this phi, right? Into a cap, what is its given value, students? It's 64, right? What will we do? We'll calculate its gradient first. How do we calculate its gradient? Derivative with respect to x into i, then with respect to y into j, then with respect to z into k. We'll calculate it here, then we'll put this point. So, then what will we get? We'll get phi, right? Now I got this phi, so I will put its value here, right? Its value that we get is 4a plus 3c into i, right? Plus students, we will get 4a minus b here into j plus 2b minus 2c into k. Is this clear? And dot. What will we have here? A cap. What is a cap? It's k. I'll write k and we are getting its value as 64. This means k dot k is 64 if you observe. So what do we get for 2b minus 2c? It's 64. What will value of both of these be? It will be 0 because it doesn't have value, right? If you look here, then if we do 0i plus 0j plus k, when we calculate this with it, what will the value here be? 
4a plus 3c, we will get 0. And then students, 4a minus b, what will it be? It will be 0, right? Its value here will be 0 and it will be this here. When we solve this, what will be the answer of b minus c? This will be 32, right? And let's solve this. When I subtract this, this will be plus, this will cancel out this. We will get b plus 3c is equal to 0. So wherever we have b, we'll put minus 3c there. Wherever we have b, we'll put minus 3c there. So minus 3c minus 3 is equal to 32. Minus 4c is equal to 32. c is equal to minus 8. And if we put 8 here, what will be the value of b? 8 into 3 is 24. So we got the value here and we got its value here. When we want to calculate a's value, we have 4a minus b. So this will be 4a. And we'll take b over here. It will be 24. Students, so the value of a here will be 6. We can easily calculate the value of abc. Now here the next question is asking us to find directional derivative of this. At this point, and in the direction of this line, right? So we are already given the point. But we are not given the vector that in which direction it is. But we can figure it out from this line, right? We have a vector here. Students, how do we find the line? So we will get direction ratio, right? We will get idea of direction from these direction ratios. This will be 2i minus 2j plus k. Students, what will we get is direction, right? Now we will calculate its unit vector. What will its unit vector be? It will be 2i minus 2j plus k upon under the root of. This will be 4 plus 4 plus 1. If we simplify this, then it's 2i minus 2j plus k divided by 3. Now we will calculate its gradient. Then we will put its point. So we know that the concept of directional derivative that we have, what is it? Gradient of this phi, then dot, then a cap, right? What will we do? Calculating this phi's gradient, its derivative with respect to x into i, derivative with respect to i into j, derivative with respect to z into k, then put the point as soon as we calculate its value. What will this be? We will get directional derivatives value. This will be 25i by 2. Minus 5j and plus 0k, right students? Dot, so students, we will get 2i minus 2j and then plus k here and then divided by 3 when we will solve this. 25 will remain as 25i dot i is 1. And if we do this, it will be plus 10 and this will be 0. What will it be divided by here? 3. So finally, the answer that we will get is 35 by 3. So in this way, you can very easily solve. This question, thank you for watching. If you want to watch my previous videos on vector calculus, you can watch them here. If you are preparing for CSIR, NetGate, NIIT jam exams and you want to improve your short tricks, you can watch them here and here you can subscribe the channel. Thank you very much to all of you. Bye-bye everyone. Bye everyone.